What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I do want to recap yesterday's preseason game between our Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Uh, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. Uh, continuing to share out my content. If you would like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. And if you would like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, uh, you can hit that join uh, the join tab uh, here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned uh, in today's video, I do want to recap uh, yesterday's preseason game between our Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions. Uh, as you guys already know, our Atlanta Falcons did uh, win the game between the uh, Lions and the Falcons. Um, and we now sit at 1-0. and I mean, it's a lot of things that I want to jump into in this video uh, to kind of recap uh, yesterday's first preseason game. But the first thing I'll start with is backup quarterback Desmond Ritter, um, the rookie out of Cincinnati. He played really well yesterday. Uh, he did throw the game-winning touchdown. Uh, yesterday um, in last night's preseason game um, and everybody's been buzzing um, all over the media on Twitter uh, Desmond Ritter's name has been buzzing in the media currently he is the big man on campus uh, from his first uh, first game in the NFL and I do think he played really really well uh, for a rookie in his first NFL action um, and I was really impressed by how poised uh, he was even though he's been being raved about since uh, rookie minicamp started by all of the coaches and players, they talked about uh, him being a leader and being one of those guys that is no nonsense, a blue collar guy that works really hard. And we seen it yesterday on the field. Um, I do think that he has a really bright future. And that's something that I tweeted uh, out during the game that I think that Desmond Ritter has a bright future and definitely could be a future uh, franchise quarterback in the NFL um, but when I just watched his game yesterday, he did a good job of moving around the pocket. Uh, he escaped the pocket a couple times and had some big games where he used his legs. Um, but he did a good job of sitting in, sitting in the pocket and delivering the ball down the field. Even when a couple of uh, players dropped the ball in certain situations, uh, he did a good job of throwing the ball, uh, did a, a solid job, um, you know, at getting these guys in the right position. Uh, during certain plays during the game, uh, but did a good job of commanding the huddle. And like I said, he looked really, really comfortable out there. Um, now, do I think that Desmond Ritter will be the starter in, uh, heading into week one? I don't because I believe that Marcus Mariota um, is the veteran guy. He's been around the league. He's a veteran. He's experienced. And I think that to me, Desmond Ritter is like a younger version of a Marcus Mariota. Um, if you watch the first drive of the game, uh, Marcus Mariota did a great job of leading our Falcons right down the field initially and scoring that first touchdown uh, with his legs. And I was really impressed as well with Marcus Mariota starting the game. He looked really, really sharp. And this is something that I talked about on numerous occasions is Marcus Mariota's ability on third down and um, on any down of being able to extend plays with his legs. And uh, Last night, we saw that on third down. When the Detroit Lions tried to, you know, zero blitz and tried to, you know, bring the house, Marcus Mariota was good at escaping the pocket and guys were in man-to-man -man coverage with their backs turned and he was able to burn the defense with his legs. Now, one thing that I did notice uh, with Marcus Mariota in last night's game that I really didn't like was on a certain plays, I felt like he should have just ran out of bounds. He shouldn't have took as many tackles and as much punishment as he took on some of those plays where he could have just ran out of bounds or slid. And I think that that's something if Marcus Mariota wants to last uh, for the whole season, I think he has to you know, choose his battles wisely. And he has to learn how to slide or get out, of uh, get out of bounds and protect himself. But other than that, he looked really solid throwing the ball and he looked really sharp. Uh, with the first unit. So I was really impressed with both quarterbacks, both Desmond Ritter and Marcus Mariota. Both of those guys played really well. Um, now, the second thing that I noticed uh, in this game uh, was our defense. Starting off the game, Detroit was able to uh, basically march right down the field. And I was kind of disappointed 
um, in us not being able to stop the run uh, consistently. We were giving up too many yard, uh, too much yards uh, on the ground early in the game. Um, and I think that that's something that we definitely have to improve upon. Um, I did like what I saw out of Rashawn Evans, which he did pretty much what I thought he would do. He was playing like a downhill linebacker, you know, very um, aggressive at, you know, shooting gaps and things of that nature. And he did a great job of being physical at the point of attack. Um, but I think that we struggled a little bit early in the game when we had our ones against their ones. Um, I was a little bit disappointed because I didn't see enough pressure on it from the defensive line. Um, guys like Grady Jarrett and the guys on the front, uh, AO, to me, those guys didn't do a good job in that first drive, Lorenzo Carter. And I know it's still early in the season and this was their first action and they still need time to gel and gain that chemistry. But I was a little bit disappointed um, in the beginning of the game because I wanted to see them get off to a, a good start. Um, but from what we've seen out of them, um, I wasn't too impressed with our uh, our first unit on the defense side, uh, defensive side of the ball, excuse me. Um, but I know we also were missing a couple players like the Jalen Hawkins, and we were missing a couple players that didn't play in this game, the Marlon Davisons. So I'm not going to hold it against our, um, our defense too much, but I was kind of disappointed that they were able, Detroit was able to, to walk, run right down the field and score that first initial touchdown. Um, but what I was impressed with uh, from our defense is guys like Timmy Horn, who came up with a crucial um, fumble recovery uh, late in the game. And he did a good job of pushing the pocket um, from that nose tackle position. So I definitely think that it's a strong possibility that he'll be a guy that makes the roster, especially that Eddie Goldman retirement. Uh, with that taking place, I definitely think a guy like Timmy Horn is going to be a guy that probably will be on this roster um, also in this game, I like what I saw out of D Alford, uh, the cornerback, uh, that we brought in from the CFL. He had an interception in this game where he dove out and made a nice interception. And he's one of those guys that I've been raving about all off season when we picked him up, that he's a guy that's a ball hawk, um, a very solid cornerback, a very cerebral corner and a guy that's, um, very opportunistic where he plays the football and watches the quarterback's eyes and things of that nature. And he played really well in this game, not only intercepting the ball, but he did a solid job of tackling and did a really good job um, at making that big play when we needed him to come up uh, to put the offense on a short field. So he did make a really nice uh, interception in this game. And also on the defensive side of the ball, I was impressed with our second unit, uh, Arnold Ebicady. He's another guy who was screaming off the edge all night. To me, he did a really, really solid job in this game of causing pressures on the quarterback. He didn't come away with any sacks in this game, but he got really close um, a couple times of uh, sacking the quarterback. One play, he was held on the play where basically the offensive lineman just tackled him because he had dipped that shoulder and got around the corner. And the offensive lineman, the, the tackle basically just... Um, you know, held him on that play or tackled him on that play. So I was really impressed with Arnold Ebicady and the pressure that he got. To me, out of all of the edge rushers that I watched last night, uh, to me, Arnold Ebicady was a guy to me that stood out. Um, to me, he was getting pressure pretty much on every single play that he was out there. So I definitely think that there's a strong possibility that he's going to have a bigger role on this team than a lot of people think. Even early on this season, um, I could see him possibly being a starter depending on how the remaining three preseason games go. But I was really impressed with what I saw out of Arnold Ebicady, uh in this game as well. Um, now, on the special team side of things, uh, Young Way Koo, you know, he did what he always did. He was solid. Him and Bradley Pinion punting the ball for us. I think that those two guys are pretty much set in stone or etched in stone that those guys will be on the roster. And both of those guys uh, played well last night. Now, on the offensive side of the ball, um, Quadri Olsen, he looked really good at running the football. And I think that the offensive line did a great job of creating running lanes early in the game uh, for our running backs. And I was really impressed with Quadri Olsen and the, the physical style of running. I was impressed um, also with Tyler Algier. Uh, when he got in the game, he was another guy that looked really, really good. And I would like to see Tyler Algier in the next couple preseason games to get out there with the starting offensive line in front of him because with the second and third string offensive linemen uh, that we were playing with Tyler Algier, 
he looked really, really polished and looked really, really good at understanding um, how to run, you know, run through the hole and things of that nature and find the correct hole. He looked like he had great vision when he was out there running. But I was really impressed with Quadri um, in last night's game of how he ran the ball. It looks like he's definitely trying to make the roster and trying to prove to the head coach and prove to the coaching staff that he belongs uh, in this group of running backs. Um, Damian Williams, he had a couple plays as well where he ran pretty solid in this game as well. Um, but to me, out of all of the running backs that I saw, I think Quadre made the biggest impact. Both him and Tyler Algier, both of those guys stood out to me in this game. Um, but I was really impressed all around um, that players made plays when they were there to be made. Um, all of these guys, like I said, they didn't quit. They kept fighting. And they, I seem like this team is going to be a really, really scrappy team. So I was really impressed with the way that we came out with the win and impressed. Um, and I talked about this prior to the game is us being better in uh, situational, you know, in fundamentals in certain situations. And I think that that was something that this team did really well. And usually you see that with well coached teams is they understand what to do in certain situations. A uh, prime example would be uh, Desmond Ritter late in the game on fourth and nine when he threw that touchdown. Uh, I've seen a lot of quarterbacks, especially young quarterbacks, in that situation, throw the ball out of bounds or, you know, take a sack when he was under duress. And he basically just threw the ball up in that man-to-man -man covered situation because he knew it was fourth down. He had nothing to lose. He basically threw the ball up and gave the wide receiver a chance to come down with the ball. So that's just a heady play. And that's what shows me that Desmond Ritter is one of those guys that's a polished quarterback and a very smart quarterback. But also that tells me that this team is well coached because I didn't see a ton of uh, penalties in this game on the offensive line or on our defense. We looked like we were um, a well-coached team last night. Everybody looked like they, um, you know, was ready to play. And I was really impressed, like I said, what I, what I seen out of a lot of these young players out there. They played clean football for the most part. It was at times, you know, we did see um, a dip in play at times during the game just because it was their first game and a lot of rust. You know, with these guys coming off the offseason, um, these guys were a little bit rusty. But once they got it going, I was really impressed from what I've seen of our team. So you guys let me know what you think of the video. Uh, what do you think about the first preseason game? Like I said, personally, um, I was really impressed with the way that this team fought last night. And I definitely think that they're building a strong foundation of this coaching staff. And I was really impressed with what I've seen out of the young players um, that got out there and played last night. Now, I do also want to mention, and I didn't mention it yet, is also Drake London. Uh, Drake London uh, did have a nice catch. I believe it was a 24-yard reception where he ran across the field on like a skinny post uh, route or a drag route. And he did a pretty good job once he caught the ball of creating that separation and running after catch, which I wasn't surprised seeing. But he did um, injure his knee during the game. They say it's not serious. Um, that it's one of those things where they're going to just have them sit out for a little bit because they know that the you know week one is fastly approaching. So we probably won't see him in the next preseason game. But um, it was good to see um, Drake London get out there in his first NFL action, even though it was short and he only had one catch during the game. You kind of seen that he's a guy that can line up anywhere, line up in the slot. And that was one of the reasons that the Falcons wanted him on this roster. So I definitely think that this is going to be a really, really good Atlanta Falcons team, especially um, on the offensive side of things. We saw last night that we have a ton of weapons on this team. Uh, guys like Cordero Patterson, guys like Kyle Pitts, they didn't even really contribute in this game. Uh, they were more of decoys. We didn't see Kyle Pitts uh, have any catches in this game, and they didn't give Cordero Patterson the ball at all in this game. Um, but those guys were out there on the, on the field for the first drive, and we've seen how they can be decoys and get other guys open, like the Cordero Hodges, like the um, Zacchaeuses and the Frank Darby's of the world. You know, we we see how those guys are going to impact um, our younger guys for being able to go out there and make plays and see one on one man to man situations. Um, but with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of the video. I have a lot more content coming for you guys as always. But. With that being said, I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.